Started in 1974 by George Rossiter, who was building wooden rowboats in his shed, while the Rossiter line has expanded quite a bit since then, as has the company. And as you'll see inside their factory here in Markdale, Ontario, they still value building boats the traditional way, one by one, by hand, each and every day. Built a couple of boats, uh, wood, and then enrolled in a place called the Yacht Design Institute in Blue Hill, Maine. And I did a degree, uh, what they call diploma there, in the marine technology program as a, as a marine architect. And a marine architect is some of the designs boats under 100 feet. I built the company up a bit and uh, was primarily just working on my own. And then it got to the point where I had to hire some people to help me. And then in 2003, I set up my own fiberglass production shop. Had more control over the quality. And then unfortunately, I, I got kidney cancer and I sold the company. So I pretty much just retired completely. And then that brought me back on occasionally as a consultant. So I helped them with some of the design features and. I came up with this little boat called the Rossiter 14, 14 foot outboard. And a lot of the deep V boats go down to a point or a small radius. And I thought maybe if you just cut it flat, so it actually had a flat surface, the boat would lift, changed it a few times, got it the way I wanted it. And I thought, now I can get molds made. So that's what I did. My whole emphasis from the day I really started working on boats was to do the best quality of materials and construction. And I'm very happy to say that the people that have taken over the company, they've really, really pushed quality all the way through. And they're, they're really well-made boats. The fiberglass boat's actually built from the outside in. So what we're seeing here is the very first step in the actual structure of the boat being built. The first thing we do is prepare the mold. So it's got wax on it so the structure will actually release. Yep. And you can see Marty has taped off what will be the waterline stripe. The first uh, thing that's gonna get sprayed is this area that's green right now. So that'll actually be the surface of the boat that rides in the water and the surface of the boat that you see. So if we pop around the corner here, we'll see another hull that's already had some antique white gel coat sprayed in it. The gel coat itself does block water, obviously. Yeah. But over time, gel coats will become permeable. That's a barrier coat? That's a barrier coat. We like to do the entire hull. We feel it gives us a better finish yeah. on the boat. I was so expecting the, that to be on the, the outside. The color that's like by his knees is the antique white. Yeah. So you'll never see this. This is on the inside of the boat. Yeah. The next step after this is goes over and gets the skin coat. So what he's operating right now is the chopper gun, almost like razor blade wheel that chops it, mixes resin with it. After he sprays this, he'll roll it with a roller and roll it down to a smooth surface. What we're getting ready to do here is do the structural glass layup on this deck liner. Take all these, they're all labeled, stick them in specific spots in there, wetting it out with some resin and rolling it out. If you imagine this thing and rotated it counterclockwise, yeah. you can actually see what would be the seats, the sure. ski platform. This has all been skin coated here, and then you can see we've bonded in core. The core itself is what adds a whole bunch of structure and stiffness to a fiberglass boat. And is this the design of a future boat that we're going to see right here? Maybe. It looks like a fun one. <laughs> Where do we go from here? We're moving into the assembly department. They have the deck. They flip it over. They do the wiring. They turn it back over. They put all the deck hardware on. The hull comes over from pre-assembly and gel, and the fuel tanks are in it, all the piping. Once the two parts are ready, it's capped. So the deck liner gets put on top, and it's bonded. And then they do all the finishing things, like they put the rub rail on, mm. the cushions are installed, they put the locks in, they just put the whole boat together. All that attention to detail that we see throughout this factory leads us right here to this, the finished product, which in this case is a really beautiful and quite frankly impressive 14-foot boat, ready to be shipped to some lucky customer somewhere in North America. With so much attention to detail on the hardware, the interior, and even the accenting in the rope rub rail. Such a clean look, such an impressive boat. And really the only thing left on my mind is we gotta get one of these in the water. Thank you.